morning everybody this is michelle with creative operation and country craft creations i have a design team project for you that you're going to love i absolutely fell in love with this paper collection it is so pretty and i of course you know it's a recipe themed baking themed thing so i had to make a recipe album and i had come up with another configuration album so what i mean by that is that the pages are all made the same uh, as far as scoring and cutting, but it's how you fold them and kind of put them together and you get completely different page, you know, um, interactions. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to do the walkthrough. Let's do the walkthrough and then I will be back with a tutorial here real soon. But this is a really fun album. I'm using Ooh La La Patisserie from Country Craft Creations. It's a great collection and I think you're really going to like it. I absolutely loved playing with this collection. It was so much fun. And Y'all know I love recipe books. I love cooking. So this was right up my alley. So let's real quick talk about the book. Let's, or not real quick, but let's go through a walkthrough with this book. So this book screamed lace and frills and, and all that stuff, the color collection and everything. So I went through my stuff. Now, you guys know, I, I said this before, when I got my design team package, I basically just got papers because I really wanted to use some stuff that I have already purchased from Country Craft Creations and, and things that were left over from design team packages. And I... So I really wanted to do that. So let's talk about what I use. So on the cover here, I did use Gold Mirror um, from Country Craft Creations. I also used White Artisan Cardstock from Country Craft Creations. Um, the flowers here were given to me by Peggy at a retreat and um, when we did a gift bag exchange and she gave me these gorgeous flowers and the colors just really fit perfectly with this theme. So I used those flowers that she had given me. So Peggy, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So on the cover here, this little piece of uh, cardstock here, or cardstock pattern paper here was a tag from the paper collection and I just cut it down so it's three and three quarters by three and three quarters and then I bumped it up with some foam tape and then I put it on top of the gold mirror paper which I cut it four by four underneath is a piece of chipboard that I wrapped with some um, cardstock from my stash and then I also wrapped it with some fabric that I got from Country Craft Creations. So when I was there, I found this Prima embroidered fabric sheets that I bought from Country Craft Creations. It comes with three 12 by 12 sheets. So I used part of one to wrap around it. And I just, I love the texture that it gave this particular book. I just love the cover, how it came out and the little flowers on the edges and stuff. It's just really beautiful. Then pattern paper and then another piece of uh, gold mirror paper on here. And I just think the cover looked really pretty. The enamel dots were left over from a previous design team kit. And I thought some of the colors matched perfectly. So I did use some of these in here. And then let me show you the spine. You guys are going to dig the spine. I just love the spine. Okay, so back page here again with the pattern paper and the gold mirror. And then this is one of the cut aparts that I backed on some cardstock. Now I did use some colored cardstock from my stash, but I, in the tutorial, I will give you the names of the, my colors that are in country craft creations that match it. So you can go ahead and get some, if you want to, you know, totally recreate what I did, but these were from my stash. I do have um, all of the colors on a ring and um, thank you Bobby Weaver she's one of our designers um, she did swatches for us so we all have the colors so we can try to match them and that's one of my goals is to make sure that with every project from now on I try to match any colors that I'm using you know and let you know what colors you can use with with artisan with with my colors and all that so I will give that to you during the tutorial now the spine here check this out is that not fluffy and gorgeous and beautiful and frilly and just I just oh I love how that turned out well I bought this lace trim this ruffle lace trim from country craft creations when I was there and um in Utah at the at the brick and mortar store and it's just gorgeous and I had it I've had it since let's see I bought it back in October yeah I think it was October and yeah it was October and I bought it and I haven't used it. So when I saw the colors of everything, I thought, well, this is going to be perfect. So what I did was, let me um, show you. I'll unravel a piece here and show you. This trim 
is just absolutely it's gorgeous it's just beautiful with the pearls and then there's gold in there you can see that it's just gorgeous so i decided i wanted to use it on my spine it was a little bit longer than my spine was so what i ended up doing was trimmed this tool off to about three quarters of an inch so it is a little bit shorter here and then i just used i you know cut it to length and then I used my hot glue gun and just glued it down the center of the spine. And it made that. And it just is beautiful. So that's how I did that. It's That's basically what I did. Um, I just trimmed this down to fit the spine and then hot glued these down. And then I've got this beautiful frilly ruffled edge that just, I think, really is beautiful. When you look at the album, oops, let me close all the flaps here on the spine. That's what it looks like. It's just gorgeous. I just think it's beautiful. So that's the cover of my album. Now let's go on the inside and check it out. So on the inside covers, I made a folio and I used coral seam binding from Country Craft Creations. And here's one of those enamel dots that I used on this tag. This tag was from the collection. I just backed it on some cardstock here. And then, um, I put it on the flaps. The, the folio itself is just one piece of cardstock, a one 12 by 12 piece of cardstock with this added on to it. And then I just created this little folio. And on the inside of the folio, I have recipe cards that came with the collection. I did have to trim them down just a little bit to fit. And then I added recipe cards from my stash also. So I've got like a pack of 25 of these in this book and I have a bunch from the collection as well. And they're just beautiful recipe cards. I, I just, I can't wait to use this, but that's the folio. And I'll show you how to make that during the tutorial. Really super easy to do. And then once you make the flaps for the folio, then I just covered the tag and then glued it on one side, um, put the seam binding underneath the pattern paper and underneath here and then that's the closure for my folio now you don't necessarily have to add that tag there you can definitely um, not do that and just leave the panels here um, as is so that's totally up to you but I'll show you how to make that one piece of paper just a couple cuts and scores now the back page let's show you that the same thing here so another one, and this one just opens the opposite direction. And again, this was one of the tags from the collection that I used, another enamel dot. And then this opens up. Look at that strawberry cake. It's so cute. That's one of the reasons why I put this one on the back page, because I really wanted the opening to be like this. This had, um, it was more plain on this side, this paper, but I wanted to show off that strawberry shortcake. So when you open that up, it just looks like, ah, oh, you know, <laughs> but I did the same thing here. Okay, a couple more recipe cards from the collection and then a couple um, that I had that I added. Okay, and then it just folds up just nice and neat. And again, just one piece of paper, just a few little scores and a couple cuts and that's it. So this ties with the coral seam binding again um, from Country Craft Creations. Now let's talk about the pages. The pages, there's five of them in the book. They're all the same as far as how you score and fold them and cut them let's say but you fold them different let's that's that's what i was trying to get at so i did come up with a couple things which is really fun each page is made with a 12 by 12 piece of paper and that's it so you just need five 12 by 12 pieces of paper and with how you put it together uh you create pockets you create flaps and all that stuff so let's go through this so this pocket here was fun because i folded the flaps up to create this nice kind of window pocket and then I used one of the cut aparts to create kind of a, a top closure to kind of help kind of fortify this pocket but it also gave it some decoration as well you have a peekaboo pocket here and then in that pocket see I you can see kind of the bakery underneath there um, I did fussy cut these bowls out here to add that for the decoration and then I used one of the cut aparts from the collection and I created this recipe card. So I just, I trimmed it down just a little bit and backed it with some cardstock. And then I used one of the tags from the collection, backed that with cardstock. I did add an eyelet and some white seam binding to that, but it makes a really nice pocket. When I originally put it in here, I kind of designed it to be a pocket that goes like this, but then I thought, well, it's really hard to get in and out. How am I gonna do that? And when I turned it to the side, it just stuck out just enough to where it makes a nice 
pull. So I decided to keep it sideways. And then this tag kind of just goes in behind it. And voila, you have this really nice pocket. So I love how that turned out. It's really cool. And on the back of this page with the flaps, what I ended up doing was I have a flap here. I have a photo mat here. And again, these colors are from my stash, but I will have um, matching my colors cardstock names for you during the tutorial. And then you flip this up, another photo mat on the back here, and then you have a pocket here for recipe cards. And I just added some from my stash here. And then, but wait, there's more, right? This flips open like this. We have more of that beautiful strawberry cake. And then I used one of the ephemera pieces to create a corner pocket here. And then you can do things like use the little fussy cut pieces. Like I put little lemons on here. I thought that was kind of pretty on the recipe cards to decorate those up. But that's that page right there. And then you'll notice that there's the page here for the covers. I loved the wording on it. So I kind of strategically cut strips to put in the gussets of my pages so you can actually read them. And I didn't cut off words. I kind of really kind of had to just be real strategic about how I cut those strips. But these strips are 3 8 inch wide, so they fit the the letters perfectly of the words. So it worked out really, really well. All right, so page two, I'll show you how we did this, but what I did was make a stacked pocket. So I, I just love how that turned out. Here's a cut apart that I did for a decoration. And then it created, you know, a tall pocket here and then a pocket here for your recipe cards. When you flip this page over, we have a flip. So you have a full page here for something. And then what I did was I made an angled pocket here. And then this flips open. And then a belly band here. So that's how we created that page. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then um, here we have page number three. So again, this is all literally the same scoring and cutting. It's just kind of a little bit of tweaking on each one. And it creates different pages. So here's a flip here. This is my bread page. I love this page. And then this tag here, I did use one magnet. Here's an enamel dot here. So I do have one magnet in there. And when you open it up, here's another one of the recipe cards that actually came with the collection. And you can still read it. So um, I thought that was really fun to do. And then it flips up. And then this is one of the cut aparts, and I just kind of, um, you know, cut it apart. I put it on some cardstock, and then I put the little saying there. And then you have a nice, like, photo opportunity here. And that goes down like that. So, again, this little tag piece here, there's just a magnet here holding it shut. And I just used one for this project. And then on the back here, the flip open, you have a pocket here with more recipe cards. And then this one here is another one of the recipe cards that came in the collection. So I backed it on cardstock and then I just glued it on the uh, three sides. And then I created a tuck pocket back there for another recipe card. If I can get it back in there. So that's what I did with that page. And then on the back of this page, so this is still page three, you have another one of those pockets just like I did for page one, except... I wanted to show that there's two ways you can actually use this. So we have another cut apart piece that I did to kind of reinforce the pocket. And then you have a tag inside. This is a tag from the collection. And again, I just set an eyelet here and then tied some seam binding through it. But then also, if you have a smaller type of tag or recipe card, you can also use the pocket that way as well. So I thought that was a really fun kind of second way to use that particular type of page. Page four has this nice big recipe card that I used on the front here. And then you open it up and now we have two pockets here with this angle right here. And then when you take the recipe cards out, I like how that turned out too, because you see the whole bakery there, which is really fun. Again, recipe cards from the collection. I did cut them down a little bit on the sides, but I left them the six inches tall. Um, so that you could put a bunch of recipe cards in here, which is really nice. Um, I should tell you how big the pages are. So the pages are uh, seven inches tall. The smaller pages measure, and I never get my ruler the right way, five and a quarter, and then the bigger pages here measure six. Okay, so that's the size of that. And then the actual album, the covers are six and three quarters by seven and a half, and it has a three inch spine. Okay, so 
there's that. So anyways, that opens up like this. And then the back of page four has a simple pocket here. And again, recipe cards from the paper collection. And I just backed them on cardstock so you could put photos back there. You could do journaling, whatever, and do that. I really want to make these. I just really want to make these so bad. And then another recipe card there from my collection. And then, oops, I didn't take my notes off. <laughs> That's awesome. So the fifth page here, um, I did these flaps. Now, the, the flaps here, you got the first one here. Again, I used just the paper collection on the front of that. When you raise it up, you can see that this is the flap that in previous pages made, you know, like pockets or whatever. But then I did a photo mat here. And then you have a second flap here that opens up. And this one here, I did it here so you could put a picture underneath there. And then you have another photo mat here. And then you have this whole empty space here you can do something with. So however you want to work that page. And it just turned out beautifully and it's a nice little surprise. No magnets here or anything. You don't really need them for that. And then on the back of page five, I did the same thing, but I used the... Um, the bakery pieces did use a couple enamel dots here because I thought that was really pretty. And then when you lift this up, I did a different photo mat. So instead of just going on the top here, it goes all the way down. And then you got the other bakery piece here. And again, another photo mat here. And then this piece is open here. So there's lots of photo opportunities. There's lots of recipe opportunities too. So then when you open this flap up, you've got another page here. Again, you can put um, something underneath that. And then you have your pocket here. This is an add-on pocket that we're going to use from pieces. Um, I will talk about that during the tutorial. But this is just a little piece that was a leftover um, from the cover that I just created another pocket. And again, more recipe cards. All right. So that's that. And then we have our last cover which is the folio here so that's our book and you can see there's lots of pages and interactions and fold outs and pockets and plenty of places and like i said just the recipe cards that i added from my stash um are 25 not including the ones from the paper collection and not including the ones that i actually you know come with the paper collection the actual recipes that you can add to this as you know right off the bat. So this holds a ton of different recipes. So that is my walkthrough for this project. I will be back soon with a tutorial. And um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys soon. Have a great day and uh, stay safe. Bye-bye.